But certainly at the senior levels of the bank, the intention is there to assist business and manufacturing as much as they possibly can. Uh, in the SME part of the market where lending is a lot more commoditised, it's a lot harder to get the banks to um, uh, create a rule or to uh, 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 individualise uh, solutions for uh, for industries or for clients. But they certainly, I, I take your point that uh, they've been very, very good with capitalising uh, interest repayments and uh, with deferring loan repayments and there is a scheme to continue to do that without it having any impact on your credit score or your credit rating. Um, what worries me, one of the things that concerns me is that 12, 18 months, two years from now, uh, the banks will be looking back at this period of time and saying, well, hang on, you were in deferral at the time. What was the problem? Uh, notwithstanding that people will have traded their way uh, through and, uh, and things will have improved. Uh, so, but I actually have a question there for Gary, just to, uh, following on from one of the points that you've made. What about apprenticeships and the, uh, the government incentive there to, uh, to subsidise apprenticeships? Do you think that will have a dovetailing effect into the capacity to actually manufacture? Because I know that a lot of our clients in manufacturing are saying that they can't always uh, get people to do the jobs that they need. Yeah, that's no, fair, fair call. Uh, certainly with apprenticeships, we're going to give it a try. Uh, we're involved with three manufacturing companies at the moment, so we're going to try and put some apprentices in. The, one of the groups that we're involved with, uh, one of their jobs is to place apprentices. They're, they're funded by the government. So we're, we're going to try with electrical apprentices, particularly in fitters and turners. We'll yep. see what happens. 